Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Fahim. In today's video, I am going to talk about how we can make our database read only. Now, what is read only? For example, let's say you are making our database and now you have used some comments in it, you have stored some data in it, but you don't want anyone else to edit your database or to modify any data in it. All right, so you can restrict a database. Now, we can do that in many ways, but very common thing is to make the database read only. Because when we make our database read only, you can't edit any data in it. Keep in mind, you can't edit or modify or update or delete any data in that database. But as it is in the read only mode, anyone can read the database. So, for example, you want to make your database read only, uh, for uh, such as you want others to see your database, to read the data, but you don't want others or you in particular to modify or edit in data, in the database, right? Let's say by mistake, anyone can do that, right? So, simply put, you want to make your database read only so that anyone else cannot modify your database in any way. By modification, I mean edit, delete, remove, add or something like that. But anyone can read the database. All right. So what we need to do, first of all, we have to specify what we want to do. We want to alter our database or you can say we want to alter the status of the database because by default, when you create a database, it becomes read and write only. Or you can say it becomes read write because when you create a database by default you or anyone else can edit modify or do anything in that database right so you can say that i want to simply change the status of the database from the read write to read only so as i want to alter something so i have to tell it that hey i want to alter something and now comes the part what you need to alter right do you need to alter the table or do you want to alter the database for here, I want to alter the database. So I have to specify, hey, I want to alter, but I want to alter a database. All right, so alter database. Yeah, you have said that you want to alter a database. But you see, I have several databases here. Which database I want to alter, right? You have to specify the database name. So I have to tell it, hey, I want to alter a database. That's cool. And let's say I want to alter database 3 so the database name and then you have to specify it what modification you really want to do here all right for example i want to make it read only so i have to tell read only you also need to put space here because other than that it won't work read only and i have to specify one one means yeah read only is true by specifying read only is true you are implicating that hey i want to alter my this database and i want to change the status of read only to one from zero to one because when you tell read only equal to zero that means it is not read only so anyone can edit or modify the database but if you specify read only equal to one that means it is read only so nobody would be able to alter the database in any way all right so if I simply execute the command, you see a green checkbox. That means our syntaxes are accurate. If I reload it, obviously the database is here, database tree. Now, as I have told you that I can only check the database or you can say I can only read the database, but I cannot modify the database in any way. Let's say delete, add or update or anything else because I have marked that as read only. And for that reason, I can't even delete the database. Let me show you. So let's say I want to delete this database, which I have just marked as read only. So drop database. Anyway, if you don't know how I am performing this command to drop a database, then you can check my other videos where I explained how you can drop a database. All right, drop database, then the database name that is database tree. Now, if I simply execute this command, you see a red box. 
and it's telling me error code 3989 schema database 3 is in read only mode you see as i have marked this database as read only i can't nobody can delete the database let alone make any changes by modification all right so when we make our database read only you can only read the data or you say you can only read the database but you can't make any changes or modifications whether that can be addition update deletion or anything else right you can't even delete your database you see it right here right and let's say you want to revert the read only mode as you want to make the changes so the command would be like before alter i want to make any alteration where i want to make the alteration in my database so database and i have to provide the name of the database which database i want to work on all right so that would be database 3 and i want to modify the read only status to 0 0 means not read only so i can modify the database again like earlier all right now if i simply execute this green checkbox so it worked now if i want to drop the database or make any changes i can obviously do that for example i want to drop this database right now data base 3 if i simply execute green checkbox and you see the database is gone because we have managed to edit or alter the database again as we disabled the read only mode all right so by this you can uh, make any database read only or remove the read only feature or status so all right that's it for today if you love this video then make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and if you have any suggestion or you want to let me know how it is going to you to understand my topic please make sure to comment those i will try to get back to you all right and if you want to follow me you can do that in github linkedin twitter instagram i would provide all of the link in this video's description box and yeah i will see you in any other video till then take care assalamualaikum